Today I'm going to show you how to draw this baseball and baseball bat with coloring pencils. This is an easy beginner drawing lesson for kids of all ages, so let's begin. <music> Hi everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Summer Party, we draw and paint everything that has to do with summertime. So let's begin. This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have my dollar store drawing pad here. It's eight and a half by 11 inches wide. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old paintbrush that you've never used for painting, this works really nice to brush all the dust and eraser bits off of your page. I also have my fine tip black marker that I use for outlining. I have a black Sharpie that I'm going to use to color in the eyes. And we're going to need some color. I have a golden brown color for the baseball bat and I have a red color for the stitching on the baseball. I also have a roll of masking tape and I'm going to show you what I do with that in just a moment. So let me clear off my workspace here and we can begin. Now to draw the baseball, this is why I've got my masking tape out because what I'm going to do is just draw a circle like that. It's going to be so much easier than trying to draw it by hand. This is a little trick for you. So here we go. And while we have this here, I'm going to take my black fine liner, fine tipped marker, and do the same thing. I'm outlining it. I could have just done this without using the pencil. And there we go. We have our perfect circle. <laughs> That's just a little tip for you. So why don't we go ahead and take our pencil again and we're going to draw semicircles on the baseball. One like this, one like this, and I'm going to draw some eyes. I've got two oval eyes right here. Okay, and we'll put his mouth in later. And we'll put the pupils in later too. I'm going to show you something. But first let's draw our baseball bat. Now I know that baseball bats are usually 25 times the size of a baseball, but today we don't have room to draw a huge baseball bat. So we're going to draw a little mini bat. So we draw kind of the shape of a jelly bean like that. And then we're going to draw the bat. It's very thin. And then it has kind of a big, big round top like that. So, so there's our little mini baseball bat. And we can draw some ovals for the eyes as well. And we're going to leave them blank for now. We're going to add our color first. So what I'm going to do is take my black fine tipped marker. If you don't have a fine tip marker, you can use a regular black marker or a black coloring pencil. And I'm just going to outline the lines that I made here on the baseball. There we go. Now I'll leave this up to you if you want. I'm going to erase my some of my pencil lines on the baseball because I kind of went outside the lines a little bit. But if you're going to erase, make sure your marker is dry, okay? Or else it's going to smudge everywhere. Don't erase the eyes, though. I think it just looks a little cleaner that way if I erase my pencil marks, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our red pencil, or you could use a marker if you want, and we're going to draw in the stitching. Basically, it's going to look like a V color, a V shape, a rounded V shape for the stitching. You see what I mean? Or you know, sometimes when you're drawing birds in the, in the sky, that's the shape that I'm looking for. Now you could do this 
in black as well. You can put black stitching on your baseball. But when I, I remember seeing baseballs and they had red stitching on them. And I'm making a lot of stitches. They're kind of close together. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All right. You might hear my dog in the background snoring. He's fast asleep on the bed next to me. And he's really snoring. I think this looks really, really neat. All right. Doesn't that look cool? So now we'll do the details with his eyes and things like that after, but I'm gonna take that golden brown color that I have and I'm coloring in the entire bat except for the eyes, okay? Now, if you're using coloring pencils, you could do this with marker, you could do this with crayons. If you're using coloring pencils or crayons, I want you to turn them once in a while. Turn your pencil once in a while so you don't wear it down all on one side. And with coloring pencils, you don't have to press down hard at all. And I'll show you why after. We're going to add more layers of color. And that just means we're going to color in the whole thing another time. At least one time. We're going to see how it looks. So you don't have to press down hard at all. Don't forget to turn your pencil. I'm going to be really careful around the eyes here because I don't want to get any color into those eyes. So, being careful here. Okay, now I can fill in the rest of the bat. Kind of looks like a ghost, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to turn your pencil. When I was a kid, I used to play baseball. Well, it was really softball. Softballs are bigger and baseballs are smaller. And I was pretty good, actually. I don't think I ever had any home runs, but I always made it to first base, that's for sure. I used to love playing baseball or softball. When I first started to play softball, though, I was afraid when the ball came at me, I was afraid to get hit, <laughs> so I couldn't catch it very well, but I learned. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a second layer of color, and all that means is that we're coloring it in a second time, and that's why I told you you don't have to press down hard to get the color you want when it comes to coloring pencils, because look, you can already see how two layers look so much nicer than one layer. And don't forget to turn your pencil so you don't wear it all down. And you know, another reason why we don't want to press down too hard is because our hands will get tired. We want to have fun. We don't want to have sore hands. I'm turning my pencil as I'm adding a second layer of color. Baseball reminds me so much of the summer. I used to go to a lot of baseball games when I lived in the city. When I lived in Montreal, there was a baseball team called the Expos. They don't exist anymore. But I used to go at least once a week to a ball game. It was so much fun. Are you turning your pencil? I forgot. I think my baseball bat is looking really nice. How are you guys doing? This is an easy, fun drawing today. Okay, 
so that's done. What I'm going to do is take my fine tip marker again and I'm going to outline the eyes. On both the baseball and the baseball bat. Oops. Let me fill that in. There we go. And while I have it, I'm going to outline my bat. Since I outlined the baseball, I'll outline the base baseball bat as well. I'm being careful not to go outside the lines too much. You can take your time doing this. And like I said, if you don't have a fine tip black marker, you could use a coloring pencil. I just think it looks really nice when you outline. There we go. Now let's add some detail. I want these two to be looking at each other. So watch what I do for the eyes. I'm doing a little oval on the side here because when you do it that way, it makes it look like he's looking up. So what do we do? We want him to look down, so we'll put them on the sides looking down, just like that. And I'm going to take my black Sharpie marker just to fill in the eyes because it's easier than using the little fine tip. You see, it makes it look like he's looking up. And if we do that here, He's looking down. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm gonna take, again, my fine liner. I always call it a fine liner or a fine tip, so I use those two words interchangeably. You might hear me saying both of them. I'm just gonna fix something here. I made a little outline crooked area. <laughs> so there we go. So why don't we give our little baseball some eyebrows? just like that. And we'll give him a smile. He's happy. <laughs> and for our baseball bat, we're going to add some detail too. We'll give him some eyebrows also. And we'll give him a smile too. And I'm just going to put some lines in. Just some lines in like that. Just, you know, a few lines here and there. just for some detail. And that's it, my friends. I think this turned out really nice. What do you think? Do you like your, your drawing today? Now, don't forget to sign your work. Always sign your work. I want you to be really, really proud of the work of art that you just created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends, and we'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art for Kids. Thanks for watching. Bye.